Falcon's Ledge. I'm Ostringer, and today we're going to be doing a quick review of the Logitech X56. The reason why we're doing a quick review is that I lost all of my footage for the initial impressions, and quite frankly, I'm done with these things. I do not need any more time with them to make a determination on them. Um, so let's just first and foremost go over all of the details. <clears throat> We're going to start with the stick, so we'll move the throttle out of the way. So let's talk about the stick. Um, firstly, holy cow, that is a huge base. I know that um, this came from a time, or from a company rather, that you know wanted to make the same size base for the throttle and the stick together, and that's kind of what got us this whole thing, right? <laughs> this is kind of funny. Um, Advanced Control Flight System Mach. It's like the name of this thing was created by someone who didn't know what Mach was. But, all right. <clears throat> so I know that the device inside is only this big and you could technically go and, you know, make a new base for it and it'd be smaller and everything. Great. Let's start with the base because the gimbal is kind of the most important part of this whole thing. Um, the gimbal uses a ball style gimbal and the method of creating resistance is that it uses a cone, uh, two cones, basically this is one cone and this is another one and this spring is attached to the top cone and that is what compresses to create resistance right here. So this, this spring compresses to create resistance. Um, the main issue that I have with this is that it is designed from the outset to wear out. Um, I know that there's tons of people that have that say, and this is actually one of the most irritating responses that I ever see about the X56 or X52 or any others, is someone says, hey, do you guys recommend this stick? And, ever, and a whole bunch of people will respond who have only ever owned like these things and, and X-52s respond, well, I've had an X-52 or I've had an X-56 for X number of years and it's never given me a problem. Like that's somehow the determination of whether or not something is good is that it hasn't completely crapped the bed on you. Um, pardon me, that was a bird flapping. Um, there is going to be some of that because this month is crazy and I don't really have time to take the birds out of here. So um, let's, let's move on. So yeah, that, that is not a good measure of quality of, well, it hasn't completely blown up on me, so you know, it's great. No, it's not. So this piece, you're, this is going to wear on you. This is going to become scratched up. This is going, right now they kind of have like a polished finish on it. Um, as you move around on this stuff, it's gonna wear down. I mean, it's plastic on plastic. There's, this is not a bearing. This, well, I mean, technically speaking, it's a bearing, but it's not a good bearing. This is terrible. You will wear this down. It will create stiction. It will go bad. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, these do tend to last a while, and that's great and everything. Um, but this is a terrible, terrible gimbal. Um, the way that it's made is just, it's just not good. Um, the spring... You can only create so much spring force here. They do have some extra springs, which I messed with. Um, they do have a, a stronger one. I, I returned this one to its its standard. More bird flapping. Um, I, re I returned this one to the original. Um, if you increase the spring tension too much, this is plastic, it's gonna break. Um, I've seen people that will attach four springs to this and, and to help with some additional resistance, but really, I mean, you're putting makeup on a pig here. The the joystick gimbal side of this stick is the worst piece of this stick. And believe me, there are other really bad aspects to it. And I'm gonna to get to those right now. Um, so let's start with this mini stick. The mini stick has a ton of throw to it. The cap on it is awful. It doesn't feel good. At least this has a centered click. But, but really it's, you're, the way that this stick is made so it's so small, when you're making your center click, you're automatically deflecting that stick. I, I don't like that at all. Um, this pinky click, it, it pinky thing, it, it has 
tactile feel. That's great, I guess. But it just does, this does not instill any confidence in me. I can tell that this whole thing is just plasticky and it's not good. The this button, oddly enough, probably feels like one of the best buttons on the stick. <laughs> one of the least used ones is it feels the best. It's kind of kind of par for the course. This one doesn't have the same. We have no consistency. This doesn't feel like this one. This button doesn't. These two kind of feel alike, but this one, totally different feel to it. So I'm going to tell you what I like the least about the stick here. Oh yeah, you can see all the, just as I'm moving it around, that thing is wobbling. Oh, awful quality. So gimbal being as bad as it is, let me tell you about probably what I think is the worst. And that is the ergonomics. The ergonomics is awful. I flew for hours with this. And in my experience of flying for hours with this, it is one of the only sticks that I've ever used. Oddly enough, the F50, X52 is the other. That gave me cramps in my hands. Yeah, cramps in my hands. I'm sitting here trying to do some aerial refueling in the F16, flying as you typically do, and I'm getting cramps in my hands. Why? Because this thing has an oddly weird and very rectangle shape to it. And as you're gripping it, I, there's just no comfortable way to grip that. It's awful. And yes, okay. So if you've never used any other stick besides like an X52 and then an X56, you don't know how bad it is. But I've used everything, just about everything on the market from CH product stuff to in, uh, NXTs to everything up to and, and including verbal stuff. So believe me, I, I've, I've used a lot of these. I know what good ones feel like and what bad ones feel like. This is one of the worst and there's more. So this is a test that I run with most sticks that I review, the grip portion. I place my hand on the stick comfortably and then I just move my thumb up and rest it. And as you can see, my thumb is resting on top of this hat. If this was the only thing on this stick, that would be fine. In fact, there, there is a bit of an, uh, an issue here too. Now, I have fairly large hands. I don't have the largest hands, but I don't have small hands either. My thumb, the main meaty part of my thumb, is resting on this edge of this hat, which isn't horrible. I mean, you can, I can actuate this hat using the heel of my thumb to push it forward. That's fine. The problem is when I want to use these things, you see how much I, my hand has to open in order to put my thumb on this hat. That's bad. That's going to give you cramps. That's going to be uncomfortable. This is the Demas switch in an F16. And this type of hat here isn't great. There's a reason why the F-16 is flat. It's because there's a hat above it that you have to use. The problem is when I'm trying to get up to the trim hat, you can see it right here. I'm actuating both hats. This is awful. In fact, my wrist is hurting just using this stupid, it, this is awful. This, this setup over here is awful. These hats are too far away from your thumb. This button is terribly placed. Why would you put it there? Well, I know why. It's because they created themselves an ergonomic situation with this. But still, when you go to actuate this, you're going to hit this hat switch because it's in the way. What a horrible, horrible layout. Terrible. And it's not like there's not sticks out there that they could use as examples. I mean, you've got the F-16 stick. It's widely available, been used a hundred times. And it's not like they were creating a cement. I mean, they are using symmetry through this center line, but they didn't even make a, cement, a symmetrical face on it. It's not like that it was some sort of um, aesthetics thing here. This is aesthetically garbage and it's garbage to use. This is awful Logitech, awful. Not to mention that this is a single stage trigger 
that feels like trash. You can barely feel when it actuates. Even your X52 had a dual stage trigger. So yeah, that's the X56 stick. This is the worst part of the setup too. So here's my suggestion to anyone that has an X56 and is suffering through the difficulties that having an X56 will, will cause. Replace this part with one of these. Sorry that it's mess that it's uh that it's dusty. Doing construction in here. In XT. It will drastically improve. It will drastically improve your experience. So let's move on. I apologize again for the bird flapping. Let's move on to what is sadly the better part of this combination, but that's not being all that kind. All right. So my first experience with this, my first feelings about it was the first thing I do is put my hand on it and start using this. Holy moly, that's hard. Okay, let's work it. Oh, now it's loosening up. Oh, wow. Now this is very floppy. Oh, there is a different amount of re resistance here than there is here. And there's a different amount of resistance here than there is up here. Horribly inconsistent. And oh, a throttle that gets hard to move in the middle? That's terrible, terrible. Now, could I open this, redistribute some grease, maybe re-grease it with some more high quality grease? Yeah, I could, but I'm not reviewing this modified. I'm reviewing it out of the box. And this, oh, see, that's terrible. It's a bad experience. Maybe this is an, a one-off. Maybe this one has all the grease in the middle here. Well, now it's floppy. Who wants that? Who wants such, a, such an inconsistent experience? I mean, look, it's not that it's plastic either. Because we have a, it's gonna be backwards. We have a plastic throttle right here that is silky smooth. Sorry, more dust. Silky smooth, but it's still a plastic throttle. So it isn't that. This is plastic greased bearings. This is plastic greased bearings. This feels like trash. This doesn't. Yeah, this is a bit more expensive, but my point here is that they're the same basic mechanism, and that is plastic greased bearings. Well, I shouldn't say that. This is a, a plastic greased damping system because this does have steel ball bearings and this has plastic. But what you're seeing going on there isn't the bearings. It's the damping system. It's this. So this uses several plates inside that are, when you twist this, it tightens it up and there's grease inside of it. And what's happening is that the grease is not distributed properly. Um, let's go over just some of the features of it really quickly. Um, these are instantaneous. Um, they have a bit of a tactile feel, but not really a good one. It doesn't click really well. There's a little bit, but it, it does feel loose and low quality. Good job you used metal. There you go. Um, this switch is the best feeling switch on the whole thing. Um, these are axes. They are um, potentiometers. Uh, this is useless because you return, tighten it up even a little bit. All right, now I'm feeling some of that. And then it is insanely hard to push. You loosen it up a little bit, even just a turn, and now it feels loose. It's, it's like, 
<laughs> Dr. Jekyll and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It's ridiculous. Okay, so let's talk about the controls we have here. When I was using this as a TDC, this center click, I couldn't get it to map. I'm not sure exactly why this wouldn't map. I don't know if Logitech's got it mapped to something else. Um, this, you would expect to do two things. One event here, one event here. I couldn't get it to do that. I could only get it to do one. So I did it as break, retract, and this one as break, extend. So there's two things that are gone. I couldn't get the center click to work, so I had to use some other button to be my um, TDC. These two are terribly placed. It is very difficult to use this one without actuating this one, these hats. And these hats do not have a center press. The caps on them are awful, and they're just sloppy as all as can be. They are not, not well laid out. Um, this wheel, this is a potentiometer. Again, I mean, it's fine, but really, why is there no center click on this? Why is there no center position? This one is also a potentiometer, but it does have a very vague center. Well, it's either vague or it's really hard, <laughs> depending on the moment, when it, whatever it decides to be. Um, also, loose, loose, gross feeling. Uh, this over here feels pretty good. The little detents feel good. Not bad at all. I have no real complaints with this, though maybe it is placed way out here and when you're actually holding the throttle, it is a real reach for your pinky and is not very well ergonomically placed. Um, this is a two position switch. Oddly enough, it feels tighter and it gets stuck in one position. Look, it's, it's stuck in that position. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, it does not have a center click. <laughs> These are two buttons that feel different than every other button on the devices. <laughs> Almost no tactile feel of when it engages. And yeah, that's, that's all of the functions on the throttle. Um, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy this. In fact, I am so disappointed with the quality and the fact that that sticks and my word, this, this thing is just a disaster. Why do people buy these? There, there's no detents in this throttle. Why do people buy these? Don't, don't waste your money. Don't waste your money on this. This is this is not worth two hundred and something dollars. Um, if this was priced in like the X fifty twos price region, maybe. This is not worth two hundred and sixty dollars. This is this is a waste of money. So, should you buy an X fifty six? No. Absolutely not. Do not buy the F-656. Avoid it like the plague. If you only have $260 and that is all you have, buy a Gladiator. Buy a Gladiator. Heck, buy an Orion 2. You can buy an Orion 2 stick for the price of this thing. Just buy the Orion stick. Save up money and buy another, buy a throttle later. Buy the Gladiator. It's even cheaper. Save up money and, put, and buy a Stex Mini afterwards. Don't waste your money on this. It is not worth it. It's not worth it. Anyway, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this video. And you know what? Bring it. I will be happy to challenge anybody about what this stick is in the market today. Was it maybe good in 2015? Yeah, probably. It was probably fine. This is not 2015, it's 2024. And in 2024, there are way better options for your money. Yeah, there's nothing out there that is specifically $260. But there are options that are pretty close that are better, way better way better. Don't waste your money on a company that doesn't care about 
combat flight sims that doesn't care about space sims. They don't care because this is the best product they have that's available on the market today as a new product. This is the best thing that they have out there. And it's, it's not good. So yeah, comment in the comment section down below. Please tell us how many years you've had the X56 and it hasn't caused you any problems, but you've never used anything can, by comparison. Please comment down there. Send your hate mail. Um, that's my opinion. That's my opinion. Don't touch it. It's not worth touching. It's not a good product. The company doesn't care about your, your, um, your hobby. So give it a pass. Buy something better. Support companies that support your hobby. That's what I have to say about it. Yeah, Logitech's never going to send me anything, but that's okay. I don't care about whether companies are going to send me stuff or not. What I care about is giving you guys the truth the objective reality of the situation so that you can make the best decisions when buying something. And I couldn't wish this experience on anybody else. It wasn't a good experience. It was awful. Anyway, please stay tuned. We have some actual good products to review coming right now. I'm testing Verpal sticks. I'm testing Verpal gimbals. Uh, I'm going to be getting a set of pedals that you guys are probably going to want to hear about very soon, so stay tuned. And we are adding 4K cameras to, and yeah, this is a Logitech product. I don't think this is bad. This is bad. That's because they probably care more about these than they care more about, care about those. Anyway, um, we got a lot of stuff coming. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. And you know, if you love the X56 and love Logitech sticks, well, yeah, you're probably gone anyway. Um, and if you're watching this video to somehow get um, confirmation on your purchase, sorry, you made a bad one. Um, anyway, fly safe, have fun, and as always, have a great day.